Hello lovely friends and family, a very warm welcome to my channel. Today I have a very lovely surprise for you. Actually it's not a surprise but a very lovely, lovely recipe to share with you. Yeah, and this recipe, oh my days, you will love it. Yeah. But before I get into it, I want to say a very big, big thank you to all my subscribers, to all my supporters, to everyone that keeps coming back to support me. To the new ones, you are most welcome. You are just in for a treat, okay? So, this dish, I will talk more about it as we get into it, okay? So, yeah. So, first of all, I am going to be prepping some vegetables, okay? So, this is the star of the dish. That's why I'm showing it first and I'm working on it first. I'm making some gentleman's garden stew. Okay. I call it gentleman's garden stew because you will talk about that later. So I've cut some garden eggs and then I've yeah cut them into two, added some water, and I'm going to cook it, boil it till it becomes very soft. Okay. So now, as you can see, our garden eggs is ready. Okay, now what I'm doing here is um, I added um, some cold water to it. So what you need to do is to drain that cold water and then add more cold water to the garden eggs. That way it will be okay for you to handle. Here, I didn't do that. So it was really hot and I, I didn't know what I was you know, thinking of, right? Okay. Anyway, so we're here. What I'm doing here is I put the skin and the seeds at one side and then the flesh at one side. Okay, so I separate them. Skin and seeds go to one side and the flesh goes to another side. Okay, so once all that is done, what I will do is I'm going to blend the seeds and the skin. So I'll show you that one later. So here are the rest of my ingredients, okay? I have some rosemary, some star anise, some anise seeds, some fennel, I have some ginger, garlic, some onions, bay leaves, and one scotch bonnet, okay? So here I also have some chopped tomatoes, right? Some red and green peppers to garnish, okay? I have some canned mackerel and some homemade or home grilled mackerel so i will be blending the ginger some of the onions the garlic and and the spices as well as the scotch bonnet okay so that is it look at that nicely blended together okay and then the same and um, blender i'm going to be blending the seeds and the skins of the garden eggs okay i'll show you what to do with the flesh okay so we blend it to be very very smooth so um what it normally we do is we we grind it in um, our earthenware bowl and you normally don't get it very smooth and sometimes you see that it becomes some waste if you are very very experienced in cooking garden next to you you know what i'm talking about then the seeds are just flying in here and there i don't like that okay my mom used to scare me that if you eat seeds, that you get appendicitis. So I think he's, she scared me for life. Okay. So here, what I did was to chop, <laughs> chop my garden eggs, okay, into, dice them. I just dice them. That's what I did. Okay. And I'll set, I've set that aside. So we're going to start making the steam. Oh, my mother. So um, in um, a pot, I added some vegetable oil and I also added my chopped onions and my bay leaf, okay? So guys, this is when I put in my bay leaves, okay? So um, I normally put it in very early. Let me know when you put in your bay leaves. I think I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. So I add in my 
garlic and ginger and those blend that I blended okay to my I add that to my onions okay so um I fried it for like three to five minutes I didn't let it brown so much okay so then I added that and I, I covered it for it to simmer a little bit okay so now it's simmered and it appears there liquid or the moisture in it has evaporated a bit and this is where I add in my chopped tomatoes okay so I wasn't sure I thought the tomatoes were too, was too much but eventually I added the rest because yeah it was okay okay so you can blend your tomatoes actually I didn't um I wasn't in a mood for a lot of blending so I just yeah use the chopped tomatoes as as it came i use a canned chopped tomatoes okay so you let that simmer um for eight to ten minutes okay so as that is simmering away we're going to prepare our yam okay so i want the sizes of my yam pieces of yam to be similar okay i'm going for it to be the same but it will be impossible so i want it to be similar so what i do is i cut my yam into four equal parts okay then i peel it then i cut um one quarter into two lengthwise then i divide each into three width whites you know this english that i'm speaking you don't know how impressed i am with myself i'm talking about lengthwise and widthwise it's like I, I I just I'm like English teacher be that I know to I believe myself right now. <laughs> so right, so that um after cutting it, I've just washed it and we we're going to cook it, okay. So the background to this dish is that my father, okay, my father, whose name is Squamichere, okay, also known as Yuchokuno. And also known as progressive, and also known as alador. One person's name, right? So whenever we cooked this food, or whenever I cooked, because I invented this cooking, okay, I invented this recipe. So whenever I cooked it, and I said it, or you cook yam with contumere, with spinach, with any stew, my father will never ever use his fingers to eat. When I say fingers, I mean like his hands, fingers to eat. He'll use fork and knife. So he taught me how to use fork and knife, okay? And when I'm saying, when I say that my father is using fork and knife, it's not like he's sitting by a proper dining table. No, he's sitting by the deep room and a kunya stool. I will find a picture and insert that picture in it for you to know what a didi pun stool is. A didi pun and stool is. And he'll be sitting there. His knees are hanging, but he's using fork and knife. That is a ladder for you. <laughs> so that is why I call it gentleman's garden next to you. Okay. So my yam, I've cut it nicely and I've washed it. I'm going to add some salt to it and then I'll boil it. Right. So my stew has been boiling. It's been cooking. And right now what I'm going to be doing is using the back of the spoon to press the chunks of the tomatoes because I didn't blend it. If I had not been lazy and blended it, I wouldn't be doing this. But sometimes when you blend it, things, it becomes too smooth. We need some texture, okay, in this dish. So by pressing it down, you break it down, it becomes a bit smooth, but not too smooth. It gives you that texture, okay? So it's like sort of gravy style, yeah. So now I'm adding some salt to taste and I will add my favorite ingredient it is my secret ingredient okay that is not to make i've added at some point i don't know where <laughs> or when i added it but i know i'll add it at this time i'm adding my canned mackerel okay so then i will break my homemade grilled mackerel into smaller pieces and add it to it okay one of the protein you can add it that will make your this is very nice if you get some red snappers and you clean them nicely and you fry them and you use it for this dish. Oh my days, you feel like, you know, heaven on earth, I tell you. Okay, so I add that to it and I give it a stir. Okay, and then 
yeah, well, I'll let it simmer for a bit. Then later on, we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay. So typically, garden eggs, what we do is like we grind everything together. And typically, we use red oil. But when I was growing up, I had fancy ideas. And so one day, I decided to do it this way. Because sometimes, if you're not careful, and when you're young and you're learning to cook it, you might make some porridge stew. Because the stew, will be, everything will be so smooth. You know and you either to be so smooth or to be so raw so this is where i'm adding my nuts milk i told you i've added i told you i knew it because not to make in this kind of stews is to die for your stew will be like okay it's garden expert why is this vavavoom taste coming from i told you the vavoom is also my favorite word where i had it i don't even know but it's a good word to use yeah so I took a little, you know, I saw a little bone. I'm like, you, you will not survive in my stew. I'm taking you out. So it's out. Good. So this is where I add my garden eggs. This is the one we blended, the skin and the seeds. Okay. Sometimes we throw away the skin because it is difficult to grind with our apotoyua or our earthenware bowl. It's difficult to grind, I tell you. Hmm. So that's what I've added to it now. And now I'm adding the diced flesh, okay? You know, the flesh that we put aside, I diced it. And now I've, I've gives it that texture. And it's getting next to you, but very prepared in an unusual way, okay? And this makes it the gentleman garden next to you because it's not the local way. This is like a Michelin star way. Whether you agree with me or not, that is how I see it. <laughs> I prepare it and you know what I'm talking about. You know, you will love it. Okay. So, yeah. So, now, as my stew is simmering away, this yam, a brochure yam, it doesn't take long to cook. In Ghana, you cook yam like 30 minutes, you are still cooking. A brochure yam, 15 minutes. I just say, acha, 10. <laughs> it is ready and it is so nice so i put in i washed some eggs and i added it so that they all cook together okay i'm multitasking that is i feel so proud of myself right now you have no idea <laughs> so as that is cooking away i check on my stew and i think my stew is just perfect okay my stew is ready so i'm now garnishing it with my red and green peppers i guess do this to make it look beautiful okay because garden eggs when it's all in there it all looks like brown be then you don't even know what it's doing what is that color so something to make it a bit vibrant so you can add anything colorful to bring it to give it that oomph okay so that is what i think i have done whether i did it successfully i'm not sure but yes the stew is done and my yam is also done i will show you when i uh, I drain the water, please. We don't have time. We need to go and eat. I'll just show you after I've plated my food. Okay. So I'm touching it and it's ready. This was Puna, actually. Puna. So it's ready. And yes, there we go. It's all ready. The gentleman's dish. So you know what? I intentionally put the fucking knife there. Just for Alado. Hashtag progressive or progress you chalk or one person's name that is my father Kwamiche. Inti progress if you are listening to me I greet you I greet you pa chokono me ye inti bisamabana so thank you all for staying with me and for listening to my boring story okay I really do appreciate all of you and I hope you do try this recipe because this recipe is always a winner. It's always a winner. Even my husband loves it. My husband, he likes to swallow. But this time, he chewed. He chewed and chewed and chewed proper. He was really, really impressed. He really loved it. So thank you all. And I am so glad. So, so glad you joined me today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. And give me a comment down below so that I know you are here. Okay? And I'm going to see you next time. And I bring another delicious recipe. Please stay blessed. Keep safe. And I will see you again. Bye-bye.